is my trusty Compact Electra, and this is the Compact Electra C9 guy, also known as Compact C8 on YouTube. And here we go with another video. I haven't made one in a while. I got some free time, so I thought I could make a video really quickly. And uh, talk about what's been going on with the Compact, and after that I'll show you my new cell pack that I got. So uh, stay tuned for a lot of fun on today, the Compact Electra C9 guy. And here it is. As you may notice, there's a new power head attached to this vacuum cleaner. The original compact turbo brush. I had to uh, rebuild the entire tin as it quit on me. As you can see, this is the compact turbo brush Rotomatic Power Team power head. This particular power head is used on Rainbow, Rex Air, Fairfax, Compact, and G Spinny, and also um, Eureka and Panasonic. It's got the two rows, wooden brush roll with brush roll on one side, beers on the other, with a brand new flat, not geared belt. Just replaced the belt and I redid the old thing. Clean the brush roll, clean the bearings of the brush roll, put a new motor, buy compact with a 5 year limited warranty, $50 on eBay. And this particular power head, don't know if how good it's gonna come out, but what the hell, we'll give it a try. It got low, normal, and shag. What this does does not raise the wheel, as some would like to believe. The uh, adjustment here opens the suction port. Also known as a suction release on the handle of the vacuum cleaner itself. That you want on some uh, hose of modern vacuum cleaners. Shag and back below. If you want to adjust the wheels on this particular model, all you have to do is lower the handle. Try to get the darn thing steady. As you can see, the more you lower the handle, the more the wheels come out. And it has gliders here, one here, and one there, and also one here. Similar to Netflix power head with a wide 15 inch suction pad, the bus here is for the belt, divisions here, wide suction pad with uh, intake ports on the side. So with a new motor, because the old one quit, what happened to it is there was a lot of rust on the bearing plate of the motor. So the armature was constantly rubbing against it, and eventually the motor quit and overheated. So I had to replace the motor in the power head. But now she runs fine. Other than having to replace the motor in the power head, the compact has been working flawlessly. Uh, here's the cyclonic metal floor tool that comes with the vacuum cleaner. I got this off the TriStar Clean site a few years ago. Cost me $95, all metal construction. With extra wands as well for uh, cleaning purposes. And also I have the plastic tool caddy that I've mounted on the house. It houses the original clear speckle compact TriStar attachment. And the only other thing I had to replace on it was the pigtail. That goes from the cord to the vacuum cleaner because I accidentally, stupidly I should say, I was vacuuming my entrance carpet, tripped the vacuum and burned down the cord. Sparks and all, so. I had to replace that uh, last year. We got the original cyclonic upholstery tool, the cyclonic crevice tool, and an aftermarket horsehair soft bristle dusting brush. It's been mounted on the house, so while I'm vacuuming, I don't have to look for my attachments. It's very convenient. The hose is a genuine vinyl hose, crush proof with a uh, extension and the end. Normally this would be uh, covered in plastic up to here, a pistol grip stand handle with suction release. 
but this does not have the suction release as it is an aftermarket hose. If you do need parts for your compact or trash tire, go on maybe under vintage vacuum cleaners, you'll find everything. That's why I got all my parts. And other than giving the, the old girl a paint job, because I got tired of the dark blue that was, I gave her coat of paint. Which I'm nowhere near professional. Came out pretty good. Painted the other side. The wheels. The wheels here which swivel. 360 degrees each. One on each side. The only thing wrong with the vacuum cleaner itself is the uh, logo here. The compact logo. The T is missing. And the uh, filter here. The exhaust cap. It's held on a little bit of tape. I know, I know. Tape on a compact. How bad, I know. But the rivets that hold the bracket for the exhaust filter is broken. And I don't have a drill, so I don't feel like drilling out the vacuum cleaner and putting a new bracket on. So on eBay, I am on the hunt for a new exhaust cap for the compact. But as of now, it stays there and it does do what it is designed to do which is filter the air. As this vacuum cleaner has four stage of filtration, which I will now demonstrate for everyone that doesn't know. This is gonna be a once over look at the vacuum cleaner and after that an actual demonstration of the machine. So first off, you got the genuine compact trash tar bag. The cloud bag. The motor filter. It says here, right here on the center, change filter every six months. Very important to change this as pet hair, fine particles, and other fine powder get trapped in the filter and the motor doesn't breathe as good. So, being a vintage vacuum cleaner, you want to keep it running for a long time. I'll show you the inside. Here is the original Amtec two-stage twin fan motor. Original to the machine. Power. Ball bearing motor, no duplication required. And lastly, the cap with a filter inside. And this is the C9 model, which can be identified by the serial number here or the plug. The Compact C8 was the first Compact to have the power nozzle plug at the back. Before that, we had the Compact C6, which had the plug right here, and the vents on the side, which was turquoise colored lighter than this. That's what the C6 with the uh, plug here for the power head. And after that, they moved it here with the C8, the C9. This is a Compact C9. I painted it blue. It should be mustard yellow like the power head. But this is a compact C9, the C8, the C9, the C80, and the C80-2, which came in blue and later in red in 1985. The red model had the uh, two-speed switch right here, and low and high selector when compact became trash in 1985. So without further ado, I'll shut up and vacuum. Yeah. Seems like a little dirt in my uh, car bag. I've got a good night. Vacuum it again. The uh, compact vacuum cleaner does have cyclonic action which uh, is similar to uh, Dyson and Filter Queen. So, she wrote, there it is, they use the town pack itself. The gold handle is from the C8 to the C9, if I'm not mistaken. And the bumper on the side for financial protection. The town pack power head. Almost as big as the machine. White thing with that, I love it. Very quiet. As you can see, the canister 
rolls around without any problem, being a model from 1978. Without further ado, we will plug her in, give you a little watch and listen as I clean my living room carpet. I do have a cat, so there's plenty of pet hair that need to be picked up. The compact makes short swear to that. And the hose has been installed on the machine. This is the suction side, and this is the blower port. Take out the uh, filter cap, and you're able to put the hose there and inflate a mattress, an inflatable mattress, or clear any cloud that have occurred in the hose. Yeah, everything is now plugged in. Put the attachment back on the machine. There was in a tool teddy for the compact, so I made one. Seven feet hose. Right here we have the vinyl seven feet hose. Both hands swivel 360 degrees. Locking handle on the power head so it stays upright. They need the adjustment now to match the machine. The power head should be blue. As this machine is a blue compact, usually the machine and the power head match. But I got this power head on eBay from Compact C9. And C8, sorry, C8 beige and gold, and it should match. Is that what about this brand new back in the day? The power head would match the machine, would have the rock tool, the float tool, and the whole set. So, here's the machine, you can see. As you can see, the attachments are on top of the machine, so as you clean, all of your attachments are right here, conveniently stored on the machine. There's no toad caddy for vacuum cleaners, so I put it there. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Here's the power head, give you a closer look at that. If anyone that didn't know, this is the wooden brush roll. No bearing noise, no grinding whatsoever. Everything flows and turns as it should. Metal bottom plate compares to my uh, old camo which was plastic. Much more durable. I've got the machine set on shag because I do want to deep clean my carpet so it closes the air vents and gives me full power, which is what I want. Without further ado, we're going to do a little bit of cleaning. Metal wands. I should mention the wands, the wand, the wand of the machine here is chrome, nice finish, and metal. The handle here is also metal. Swivel 360 degrees. That's a rectangle with a cold storage on the back for the power head hose. Blocking ones on the hose. The vacuum cleaner itself is out of metal. The lid is metal. The whole body of the machine is metal construction. It's a uh, cast magnesium, if I'm not mistaken. The on off switch is also metal. The flow tool, the ones, all durable metal construction, so it will not break whatever what you put it through. She'll take it. This is a dry vacuum only. No uh, water can be picked up with this. So without further ado, get it going. 40 feet cord. So there's no plug-in, unplug-in for vacuum. Which is nice. And I must add, this little guy got some power. So shut and guard, uh, I don't follow through and guard it if you want my advice. So, position everything and get it going. You'll notice how quiet the machine is and how quiet the power head is 
Why not turn around? Let's go. Excuse me. Short way for picking up the pet hair. And now we're going to be picking up something else. It's just a little uh, carpet cleaner that removes pet soda from the carpet. I'm going to do a little test, just to see how well it picks up. One line. As you can see, there's a lot of material that needs to be picked up. I'll give you a closer look. And just to be safe, I'm going to grind it. <laughs> Excuse me, I have dry trout. I'm going to use the flow tool and grind it in. One pass. Two. With the power head still on set, we're going to see how many passes it takes to clean it up. Going to go forward, back, forward, Bad until it is clean. And after that, I'll give you a closer look and I'll check in the back, see how much has been picked up by the power head and vacuum. Carpet Electra with power head on carpet picking up carpet freshener. Backwards and forward until everything is gone. Let's begin the test.
As you can see, the compact home cleaning system made short work of cleaning the dust from the carpet. Absolutely no residue whatsoever. No residue on the brush roll as well. Going to open up the tank and see what we got. To be fair, the machine has a brand new bag. This is what the machine has picked up. All the dust has collected on one side. All the dust has been picked up. So. Nothing was left behind. So this about sums up the video for the compact Electra canister vacuum cleaner with 7 feet hose, compact turbo brush power head, and all of the attachments, including the attachments on the top of the machine. And now, just for fun, the cyclonic flow tool. Going to do the same thing I did with the power hat. Put some dust on the floor and see how many passes it takes to clean it up. I'm still looking for the metal rug tool. Once again, the compact on floor with the brush roll, the floor tool. See, there's a mess here. Turn around. Ah, boy. <laughs> Whoopsie. Bloopers. Forgot to plug her in. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that, but that was plugged in. There we go. <laughs>
No residue on the flow tool either. Nothing has been left behind. A compact for all your cleaning needs. So that about sums it all up, I think. I think I've shown you everything. Uh, comment, like, subscribe if you want to see my new 10 gallon shop bag with pump action, let me know. Or the Bissell upright or versus video between the shop bag and the compact, let me know. Um, I'd love to get everyone to get involved, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think and uh, have a good day. Compact power head. So this is what the set from the compact would be. The power head, the twister ones, the flow tool, the hose, the machine with the long cord and the attachment on the tool together. Back in the day this was the Cadillac of vacuum cleaners. So there you have it, the compact with everything. This was the Compact Electro C9 guide, also known as Compact C8. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Y'all have a good day now. Keep it up.